Welcome to Lower Keys Living. Today, I'm gonna to take you out and show you my five favorite places to put in for stand-up paddle boarding or kayaking, looking for lobsters, or just exploring in general. So if you're coming down here, don't have the power of boat, but wanna get out on the water, you're bringing your kayak or SUP down, these are great locations for you. Four of them would strictly be swimming, paddle sports, put-ins. The last one I included, it is a boat ramp that's very busy, especially during mini season, but it's still easy to get your kayak or SUP in. And the places I'll show you are easily accessible for kayaks and SUPs, not by boat. So those boats are gonna be zipping out, going to other lobster locations, and you'll have the in-close locations to yourself. Uh, before we jump out and get on the road and show you those spots, last week's video I showed you some roofing piles that were in close to shore. Roofing material that likely got blown in during Hurricane Irma. There's an abundance of it around and it held lots of lobsters. That one, because it was so close to shore, would have been within that 300 foot limit. You're not allowed to lobster within 300 feet of development, whether it's private or commercial, uh, during mini season and the first five days of regular season. Uh, but I checked with Florida Wildlife Commission. I spoke to one of the local officers down here whether it's legal to take lobster from that type of debris during the regular season. And no, it is absolutely not. So no matter where it's located, any man-made debris, whether it's roofing material, cinder blocks, PVC pipe, there's a lot of debris in the bays that gets blown in by storms. Some of it's intentionally dropped for poachers looking for an easy way to catch lobsters. Stay away from those materials. Definitely save those lobsters. Let them grow. Let them get big and you'll find them as a natural habitat, which there is plenty of down here. You're not going to have a problem finding legal lobster to take. So please stay away from those debris pile, any man-made debris that's in the water, and we will get you out there. So let's get on the road. I'll show you these five spots. I got a special video coming up showing you my absolutely favorite kayak SUP place to go paddle. One for snorkeling, look two, looking for lobsters. It's your SUPing or kayaking down here. Definitely a must visit spot, whether it's for lobsters or you want a beautiful place to go snorkel. So stay tuned for that one that's coming up in a few days. And let's get you on the road and show you these spots. All right, here we are heading out to No Name Key. This is the No Name Pub, great little spot for lunch, dinner, afternoon cold drinks. You can check this out on your way back from a nice day of lobstering. You're just going down the road. It is a nice, quiet, not very busy road. You'll see a number of key deer here. And this is the walk into the uh, ramp here at No Name Key. It's not really a ramp. I believe this used to be a boat ramp that they have since blocked off. Looks like it got thrashed or wasn't used since Hurricane Irma. You can still see the channel that was dug for it, uh, but again, not in use. But just a pretty spot. I have never seen anybody else out here paddling or kayaking. Um, this is just an epic day with no wind on it, and you'll have great access to a number of good lobstering spots here, and just a great place to tour around. You can see out here in the distance, that is the bridge over to Bay of Honda State Park from Big Pine Key, for a point of reference. So here we are, No Name Key, great little location. So over here on the left, this is where the No Name Pub is located. Um, right in here, they're rebuilding. It's the old Wooden Bridge Resort. They've got a couple of rental homes that they're putting up right in here, right at the marina. Great little boat ramp. And they've got a number of houseboats that you can rent to stay in. Um, they have a bait and tackle store, and you can rent kayaks there. Cool little spot if you want to check that out. So the video, we're all the way down the end of the road here on No Name Key. This is the launch point. I believe this looks like it was an old boat ramp, probably pre-Hurricane Irma. What I like about this area in here is this is all wild, undeveloped um, shoreline, which means you don't have to worry about that 300 foot from shore exclusion zone where you're not allowed to be in that area um, during mini season and the first couple of days of regular season. And pretty much this whole area with the exception of the little area around this one, 
and right around here. Everything else is pretty wide open and fair game out here to access. Um, big wide channel, lots of tidal flow through here. So the area in here gets replenished with lobster on a fairly regular basis. Um, I don't know what they had cut this channel for, what the plans were here, but lots of good ledges in there that hold lots of the lobster. Um, technically, because that is a channel, that would be off limits during mini season, but if you're here it, during regular season, a great spot to check out. So that's no name key, definitely something to have on your bucket list or in your back pocket if you've got winds that would favor this location. All right, here is a look at the Ramrod swimming hole. This is at the inside end of the swimming hole. You can see these nice ledges, easy place to put in and out. And here we are, this is heading out towards the bay side um, and your exit area. Just a beautiful spot with so much access to so many great lobster grounds and just paddling grounds in general. All right, really easy. So this is Ramrod's swimming hole right up in here. Uh, told you about this in last week's video. Um, great spot to access uh, are these holes that are out here. And there is lots of access to a lot of lobster locations from here. Plus it's a cool spot just to launch from, to tour around, explore the, uh, the flats areas. You can come over here, it gets really shallow in here, but just an all around great place to launch your stand up paddle board and kayak from. Super popular with folks that want to bring their dogs swimming, hang out in the sh hang out in the water. There's some nice ledges that you can set your chairs in so you're sitting in the water right on the edge. But popular spot with the local to hang out swim but a great spot for launching your stand-up paddleboard and kayak. All right, just a little further west from Ramrod Key, uh, we are over here on Summerlin Key, and this is your must-visit spot. This is Niles Beach, or what's called Niles Beach, at the end of Niles Road here on the north side of Summerlin Key. Super easy access. There are so many great places to paddle, and couldn't catch it on video, but as I was walking up, there was a big school of bonefish that just shot off to the right here in the screen. Tried to hold back to see if they would come back around, but they didn't. But these are just beautiful, beautiful flats out here. Lots of channels in between the keys uh, that you're seeing across here. You can cut in between all these, great lobster and grounds, and great wildlife viewing. But this is just a classic, epic place to come paddle boarding and kayaking. So even if you're not lobstering, bring your stand up paddle board and your kayak out here and check this place out. Right, here we are on Summerlin Key, and to access the Niles Beach, uh, right here there's a boat rental location, um, Antonio's Seafood sits right here in the corner, great little spot, but just come past the boat rental place, hang a right and then left down Niles Road all the way out here to the end. This is a must visit spot if you're a stand up paddle boarder or kayaker. One, for obvious reasons, you can see this is just such well protected water. It is a beautiful area. There are lots of places to lobster in here. I'm not going to get into specifics, but there are so many places. Get out here, check this one out, and spend some time paddling around. To me, this is the ideal place for kayaking and paddleboarding here in the lower Florida Keys. Just beautiful spot, abundance of wildlife, loads of fish and sea life in here. Don't miss this one. Again, Niles Beach, check this one out. All right, here is number four on our list. This is the walkway down to Venture Out Bay, the Venture Out Keys at the south end of Summerlin Key. Got a great little access path. And again, just another spot where I've never seen anybody else bringing their paddle boards or kayaks down here. Um, people must have great access elsewhere, but if you're looking for quick access to a new spot, this is a great little location for the Atlantic side. You can see great spot for watching the sunrise. Looks like somebody comes down here, left a chair here so they can watch the sun come up. Um, and you can see here on the left, is the end of one of the channels adventure out. 
that would be off limits during mini season, the first five days of regular season. But those channels are usually packed with lobsters. But I like coming out here just before sunset, just after, and getting out on the flats and looking for lobsters in the grass out here. And around some of these keys are usually some great lobster holding grounds. So definitely another one to put on your list. All right, here we are at the south end of Cudjo Key, and this is Spanish Main Boulevard. It comes straight down from the Overseas Highway. That little path that you just saw in the video is right in here. You have great access to the Venture Out Bay and the Venture Out Keys. Um, plenty of lobstering grounds out and around these uh, that you can find. I love coming out here half an hour before sunset when the lobsters start coming out. You can find that they've come out of the cracks and crevices along these channels. Um, I've had a lot of luck in here off this undeveloped area. Uh, there, I've been around Gopher Key so many times and have found nothing around Gopher Key. So if you're looking for lobster, I would save your time from there. Look out in these grass flats just, um, after, just before sundown, right after sundown. A great little location and then you can find some cracks and crevices out here. It's also a great area to access. Uh, this is a beautiful bay out this way. Really pretty area, great place to catch the sunrise coming up in the morning. Um, super, super nice area. And again, another nice place just to come out and paddle and kayak, even if you're not lobstering. Okay, going from the extreme south side of Kudjo Key to the far north side, this is the Blimp Road Boat Ramp. Um, you can come down here with your paddle boards and kayaks. Just drop them off here on the right side. Great access to a lot of spots, which I'll go through in detail in the upcoming images. Uh, so check this one out. Great spot here. Here we are on the north side of Kudjo Key. This is Blimp Road. Obviously here is the blimp base out in here. That's where the blimp flies from. So this is the Blimp Road boat ramp. It is a hugely popular boat ramp uh, during mini season. You'll have cars and boats lined up in here, but it's still easy, loads of parking. You can park and just walk down with your kayaks or paddle boards. Two places I suggest you check out. One, it's about three quarter of a mile paddle down here into these flats. And then in these channels in here, and you can either come through this way or come around this way, but I have found a lot of lobster hiding in the mangroves in this channel. If you're here at low tide, you're gonna probably be walking even your paddle boards through here. You can make it through in a kayak at almost any given time, but that fin on your bottom is gonna be dragging in there. Um, but a great little spot to check out. And then in the other direction, there are some ledges down here. And then also you've got these two I'm not sure what they were made for, but these cutouts, these would be off limits during mini season by mini season rules and the first five days of regular season, but these are usually packed with lobster. Um, so great places to check out if you're here during regular season. Another place I have paddled, you can park right in here, are these bays. And I've come all the way out, up in and around, and I've made it all the way through and into here. I haven't cut all the way through. Um, but I've seen loads and loads of stone crab in here. I have not seen, I don't know where the lobster hide it here, but I've come by and there have been people coming out with their paddle boards and kayaks with their limit of lobsters. I have yet to figure out where they've got them in this bay, but nice thing about this one, it is completely protected all the time from a wind. It, you're gonna get flat water in here almost all every day that you're here. Uh, a couple other quick things. Uh, most of the boats that are here, they are going to head out towards the content keys and the lobster grounds out that way. Tarpon Belly Key is a two and a half mile paddle from the boat ramp that way. If you're going to time it, try and time it so you're heading out on an outgoing tide and coming back in on an ingoing tide. If you're fighting the tides on that two and a half mile pass, Kemp Channel has a strong flow through it. You're going to definitely be adding a lot of time if you're paddling against the tide current trying to get out there. So those are my top five spots. Thanks for joining us this week and look for a couple of days from now, I'm gonna share with you my favorite must do kayak or paddle trip for lobstering and just from snorkeling for sure. So look for that coming up in just a few days.